Hey everybody, Accurace here. Welcome back to the Long Dark Interloper 500 Day Challenge Series. Let me step out here. Take a look around. See how it's looking. I'm sure it's super cold because it's always super cold. Yeah, it's negative 30. But uh, that's where we're at right now. Hope you guys are doing good. It's been a minute since the last episode. I think probably about two weeks. I had a bunch, I had like a, a full week of trial and then the at the last minute, that got canceled, so my schedule got flipped back around to night shift, and then I had um, a couple, well, like one day off from uh, for the girls for school for due to due to uh, winter weather, and then uh, actually a couple days where the uh, it was delayed, and uh, that kind of screwed up my sleep uh, recording uh, cycle a little bit. There, it was delayed uh, due to fog, and then what else happened? There's a couple other little things here and there, basketball practices and things like that. Give but a week. Uh, yeah, it's been a, it's been quite a time. Oh, and my wife had all last week off, so during the day when I would normally record, um, you know, I was uh, out doing things with her. So, all right. Anyway, I'm back, and we are on day 51 now, here at uh, Coastal. Uh, it's uh, morning time. Let's go ahead and take a look here. Got 11 doses left. Let's go ahead and take one of our meds here for uh, the uh, intestinal parasites we're trying to fight off. There we go. Now we're down to... We're halfway there, guys. Halfway there. So, uh, obviously we don't need any... Uh, we don't need any uh, sleep. We're doing pretty good there. But we are starting to get tired and weak due to the uh, parasites. So I think, let me do my math here real quick. We might need to go out and get some, uh, one more batch for the tea. I think I have it stored down here, don't I? Let's take a quick look. Down here. Um, so that's a birch bark tea. That's not what we're talking about. Here we go. So I have, you know, I have no more antibiotics over here, but I have, uh, one, two, three, four, five. Five of those T's left. Then I have... Let me see here. That's it. Must have passed. Let's go medicine here. I got two more. So that's one dose right there. So I need a, a few more birch bark tea. Or not birch bark, but rushy teas. All right, so let's go see if we can uh, maybe go find some of that um, before it gets too crazy. Uh, right now, it seems like a pretty good time to do that. All right, let's go uh, let's grab something to eat. Might as well. Can't hurt us. Might as well just fill up on this. I'll probably let me just grab a couple of these. It's, uh, ooh, mouse is a little quick. Let's go back inside here. All right. Might as well eat inside rather than freeze outside. Okay, good stuff. So, I think I'm going to go check this area up here where the uh, the bear used to live up in this area. I think there's probably going to be some mushrooms up there. I could also check the coast. I'll just do some beach combing. Actually, I think I'm going to do beach combing first. Because we got enough. We got enough. Uh, there's a wolf right there. I thought I already killed you once. All right. Then, uh, yeah, a couple wolves, actually. So... I'll move this way. Can't feel my feet. What are you doing on water? Oh yeah, we got I got too much water actually. I'm carrying around way too much water, but that's okay. We're not we're still three kilograms underweight. But uh I wanna make my way to the coast and just do some beach combing. I've been wanting to do that. Who knows? Maybe we'll end up finding a bottle of antibiotics or something. But uh already already freezing to death here. <laughs> And I barely made it away from my front doorstep. 
But I can't just uh, be stuck inside the entire remainder of the uh, series now, can I? So I see something over here. I think that might be the wolf carcass. No, there's something that washed out. That's, that's a pallet, isn't it? Yeah. So. Pallet washed up. We don't need that. We'll just work our way along the coast here. And then we'll head on up here to the to the house. The Jackrabbit Island house. Is there something else here? What do we got here? Planks. Wow, it's all about the uh, wood this time. Have I made it over to this one? I think I have, because I, I found the deer, or the, the wolf carcass washed up here, which was, uh, yeah. Which I had never seen before, and I was like, why is it ravaged wolf carcass? That's just because I guess it's the way they make it when it washes up on the shore, so. Didn't know that those could wash up on shore. I mean, I wonder if that, a bear could actually wash up there. Sure, it's possible. Something else here. I have to wonder if I if I have to remove these things in order to uh, have other ones spawn in their place. There's a wolf over there to the left, but uh, this is something I've been wanting to do for a while. So, oh, a couple lockers. Okay, that's random. We'll go up here and warm up. Just make sure that this wolf isn't gonna. Try to attack us, or at least we'll have enough speed to get up there before he does. Either way, I think I'm just going to run up this this little ramp area here. Yeah, he's over there. He's walking away, so we should be should be good to go. Keep an eye out for mushroom locations here. Rabbit. Food, meat's not an option, or not a not an option. They're not a concern right now, so we're just gonna go up here and it hurts. Oh, up. it hurts. That's just the sickness. That's all that is. Let me grab some sticks while I'm out here. Don't know how many I have on me right now, but I'll grab a few. And we'll dip inside and warm up. There we go. I think there's a bed straight back here where this window is. There it is. Okay. So yeah, we can just lay down and we'll get some energy back because we did lose a little bit of energy. The sun should be coming up. can't believe how tired we are. And it's not even like early morning. Um, yeah, sun hasn't even come up yet. All right, let's just grab a couple hours of sleep here. Let's do about three hours. Okay, there we go. Daytime. Let's just make sure that I did check things like the medicine chest and all that. It all was in here. Oh, yeah, I remember leaving those sports socks here. All right. A little snowy. A little snowy. That's how it is outside my house right now, except it's freezing rain. I wish it was just like nice fluffy snow. Okay, we got something else over here. Suitcase. Hmm. Cotton scarf. I don't know why I picked it up, but I did. Cattail? Okay, we'll take that. What's this over here? Uh, fish. Okay, we'll take that. Some shoes. I'm gonna have to leave something behind. All right, I'll run these back up here. I'm sure that that wolf is gonna be coming at me for this fish that I just picked up. But I'm gonna leave it right outside the cabin here. Plus, I'll warm up again. Can't feel Got my hands. Lots of random stuff, though. I didn't. I heard that. 
peach coming was a thing worth doing now, and uh, I wasn't expecting it to be that good. Okay, so we just dropped that small muff bass there at zero percent, but we could always cook that up to fifty percent and eat it, no problem. And once we reach level five cooking, won't matter. All right, so let's just hang here for a minute, see what happens with this uh, weather. So we'll sleep here. Reco rest and recover. Another thing I'd like to do is I would like to go out and get some, uh... Ooh, it sounds like it's getting nasty out there. I would like to get some, uh, coal gathered up. I've been saying that for the last episode or two. Let's take a look outside. Mm, it looks pretty nasty. I think we could easily make it to the other island, but, uh... I'm thinking we kind of just hole up here for... You give it an hour or so and see what happens. Okay, so. Yeah, let's just sleep for an hour. Let's see where we're at. Definitely not in a hurry to face a blizzard. Take a little peek. So, oh, right in my face. Negative 41 degrees Celsius. That sounds horrible. Alright. So. Now I would read if I didn't have the stupid sickness I was dealing with, but I do. So. Okay. Not much I can do then. Um. I might tear these shoes apart while we're sitting here. Uh, where are they going? Down here, probably. Oh, clothing. I could tear up the uh, cotton scarf, get a cloth out of it, that sort of thing. I got, yeah, I could probably do the drapes in here too. Curtains on the windows. Um, yeah, let's go ahead and get a leather and a cloth from this. Oh, harvest, no, two leather. That's what we want. Hour and 15 minutes, that's fine. Still sounds like the. Storms raging out there. Yeah, we'll take a look at my clothing, see if anything needs repaired as well. We might be here for the night. Nice drink of water. Should be around six. Oh yeah, we're still at almost seven liters of water. But like I said, yeah, the carry weight's not bad at all. So. I didn't miss anything in here. It's quite possible. I think I still hear it outside. Uh, it's, it looks like it's getting better, but... Um, let me dip inside, see if we need, need to do any clothing repairs. But it looks like it's... It is getting better. So... Uh, clothing. Probably this way. Let's go by condition. Yeah, let's repair this hat so we don't lose that. Oh, actually, we have this hat on. We're not even wearing this one. Um, we can go ahead and... Go ahead and shred this hat. Yeah. Because we have the uh, rabbit skin. Plus the other one. Alright. Yeah, so we're good there. Let, yeah, we do need to do some repairs here. Um, honestly, almost all of these items, except, except for these last three, kind of need to re be repaired, so I'm okay with that. Perfect. Perfectly 93%. Only getting about half my warmth bonus out of this, but of course when it's, you know, negative 35 degrees outside, I don't think it's going to matter too too much, but I guess it helps a little bit. Hmm. wonder what our mending skill is now. Just curious. Not something I. Uh, we're oh we're we're at level two. Did we just level up? Looks like we just did. Oh yep, there it is. <laughs> it's just went into the menu a little too quick. Okay, we just leveled up our mending. There we go. Socks are nice. 
This wool sucks. Oh yeah. There we go. Okay. I'll just step out here and see where we're at. It's not too bad. It's about the same. Alright, uh, I do want to check and see. I'm just curious now. what my warped bonus is. 15, 6 degree windproof bonus. And there are still some uh, things that need mending. So, uh, and we also have accessory slots that we haven't quite filled up yet. So, let's head on out and see what else we can find before it gets too dark. We'll probably sleep up here at the next island. But, uh, well, let's head on down. Just doing some exploring. Is this new? Is this come this fast? Wow. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. Firewood? Are you kidding me? I didn't know you could even... Wow, okay. Oh, what? You can get maple saplings off the... Oh my gosh. This is like... A cattail head and some more shoes. <laughs> Huh, somebody out there is missing some formal attire, looks like. That was crazy, that little spot right there. Whoa. I, I think I need to do this more often while I'm here. Get my exercise, get my steps in, man. Oh, well, no, let's not go that way. Not that way. Don't get the steps in going that way. Yeah, that doesn't sound very healthy at all. Something out here. I can't remember if this is where I dropped all my potatoes or. Uh, I think these are all my potatoes. <laughs> yeah, these are all my potatoes from a long time ago. <laughs> yeah, these potatoes are all probably poisonous. Oh, that's 30, 31%. Okay. Fingers feel numb. <laughs> oh, we still have a batch of potatoes there between the two islands. Let me take a look along the edge here. Alright, I don't see anything else on the ground over here. I'm starting to get a little tired, but that's that's pretty par for the course these days. Okay, let's head up here. I've never felt so cold in my life. Feels like night is coming. Actually, probably the best thing to carry would be not that flare, but the red flare. There we go. Just in case. I need to find food. I don't think we're, we need to find food. No, we, oh yeah, I guess we we could use a little bit of a meal. That's okay. We'll be okay. Where we at with the food. I didn't get a look. I need to get inside really more than anything else. What do I got here? Some oats. Let's see here. Um, food. 198 calories. Eh. Okay. I might just uh, sleep here for a short while and then head on back up on a fumble up the stairs here. I can't really see where I'm. I think I'm it, making it up the stairs. It feels like I'm going up. Yeah, there we go. Okay. Bed in front of us? Uh, no. There it is. All right. I'm blindly searching here. Get a drink here. I'll sleep for a couple hours, and I think we'll head, um, probably head on over to. Do I want to go to the gas station? I'm trying to remember if I left any food there. I don't think I left anything there. I think we'll head on back to the uh, to the fishing village. We did pretty good though, but um, yeah, we'll head back there to get food and and uh, get some more sleep and all that. I don't want to get too low with our already low condition. Artificially lowered a uh, ceiling there with the with the condition. Um, yeah, let's just sleep for maybe three hours. There we go. We'll be be hungry when we wake up, but okay. Oh, 
the aurora will be happening when we wake up. So, alright, we got some lights at least. I didn't like accidentally miss this, uh, one, did I? No, no. I sure didn't. Oh, I left this water here. Feels oh, no, like I didn't. Empty pit. I thought it was gonna say empty, but... I guess if you take the water out of the toilet, it doesn't change from toilet to empty. Oh, what do I got here? Oh, I got... cooking oil, salt, a bunch of charcoal. Okay. Um, oh, apparently I left a maple sapling to cure. Some fleece middens. Okay, okay. Um, cool. Well, I got the coal that I was looking for. Okay, we'll take that. And, uh, what the I'm heck? I'm not sure I can carry much more. I don't really want the... Oh, stop. I don't want the charcoal. I want the salt. Okay, I'm just gonna have to drop the charcoal again. I can I can see that happening already. I don't remember where charcoal goes. There we go. I barely use it ever. Okay, drop all that. And then uh, we'll get moving here. Ooh. Man. Alright, well, at least it's going to be a pretty walk back. So, we'll take a peek out this way real quick. See what we can see. Do we see anything washed up? You guys, I don't see anything washed up over there, obvious. Yeah, okay. Let's head on back. So, we'll jump on over to Jackrabbit Island again. We'll come back with some wood and some charcoal and all that. I might, might take the potatoes with me. So at least we have them all over there in case I need them for some reason. But we'll keep an eye on the, the walk back here. Um, something else might have washed up here in this little hot spot of uh, beach combing. I think I can see my, I think I can see my cabins right over there. Might just go straight across. Nah, I'll go up here and warm up. There's no need to take extra rabbit cooked. Um, I don't think I want to eat that since I didn't cook it when it was in the potato. I'm just gonna leave the bass. I don't. I have plenty of food. What the hell is that? There's someone floating here. Oh. I'm just out of this stuff. Move this out of the way so something else hopefully respawns there. It's all just floating in the air. Eh, I guess the Aurora does weird things. <laughs> Nothing in here, right? Didn't leave any. Yeah, searched all that. Cold is making my head feel thick. Something else here on the ground. We got another another bass. Oh yeah, you don't even need to fish anymore, man. You can just. That's a salmon. That's like a really good meal right there. Alright. Leave that there. Yeah, I guess the wind's coming in my face here and Damn. slowing me down quite a bit. Just can't see it because there's no uh, precipitation at the moment. But it is, it is ripping. This wind is really slowing me down. But we got something new over here. I think. Unless this is still the book bag. Yeah, this might still be the book bag. It looks like it. Now the question is, is it the same book bag? Let's take a look. Yep, that's the same one. Moving slow. It's, hey, if I'm protected from the wind, it's only negative 17. Come on, make it up here. You got it. 
There we go. I'll help you the rest of the way. Give you a little extra push. All right, now lay down and warm up. Lay down and warm up. What time is it? I really want to go to sleep and get a whole bunch of energy back because I want to get home and get some really good restful sleep. So I think I'm just going to lay here for like an hour. Maybe, maybe we'll just do the repair since we got some light to work by. That might be better. Yeah, let's do that. Um, I can always shred those in the dark. I don't need to do that. But I can't repair in the dark, so let's give this a shot here. There we go. And we are now fully warmed up, which is perfect. Okay, good deal. How are we doing on cloth? And two more cloth. I think I'm going to rip up some curtains. Let's go ahead and do that. Might come in handy a little bit later. I guess, oh, I thought I... I'm like, like I said, I'm just kind of blindly searching here myself. Around where the obvious windows are. Okay. I can see... Yeah, we got two curtains over here. So that's four. This will be eight cloth total. Nice. And I'll probably grab those two over there. So, should have about you know, 12 cloth by the time it's all said and done. Oh, can I turn on radio? There you go, guys. Just for you. Oh, did I already, I already strip this side? Okay. There's got to be another window around here somewhere. Curtain, there we go. DJ Accurize at your service. Is that the only... Oh, oh there's one more. Okay, now we can do a couple repairs, and if we need to do a, a s snow shelter, we can do that as well. So we're, we got, you know, if we need more cloth, we can always come back here too. All right, let's go ahead and make it back to uh, home base. I think I will walk this way, though, just to continue to beachcomb a little bit. So... So lucrative. Oh, we got glowy wolves over there. Lockers. I'm gonna check the locker. Just I'm curious if it re re upped. Whoa, 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 I'm approaching it weird. For some reason, it didn't do that last time. Okay, it doesn't want me to mess with that locker right now. Maybe once you uh, open it and search it, you can't get back to it. I don't know. But I see, I, I remember just walking right up to it, and it was like no big deal. It didn't uh, do that at all. Like, I sat there and I checked both lockers without there being any threat of a uh, broken ice. So, there's the glowy wolves over there, the right side of the screen. But they stay over there, we stay over here, everybody will be happy. Got another maple sapling. My gosh. I guess when you're starting out, don't, don't bother searching for the hatchet or waiting on the hatchet or the uh, need to find hacksaw to, escape this cold. to get your maple sapling. Just come down here and beachcomb. And uh, you'll get one, and you'll be starting to cure real fast. You'll be well on your way to curing while you uh, go search for those other items. And we got ourselves a fish here. Take that. I bet you this... Eh, didn't bring them. It didn't bring them. Kept them over there. They're still howling at the... Uh, so cold. At the light. But, just uh, lay down for a I know. I think I'll just go ahead and drop this uh, fish over here. And uh, I think I see one more thing over here. On the, on the ground. It's probably another fish. It looks small, whatever Something's it is. making me feel tired. What we got here? Yep, it's another fish. Okay. Fishing, uh, probably not the way to go. Probably just beachcomb. Yeah, I'll just drop that there. Okay, let's head on around this way and just head back. I would drink almost anything about now. Head back, get some good sleep. Sleep in a little bit tomorrow morning. 
get our meds in. And then we need to start looking for some uh, mushrooms. Get over this intestinal parasite, which has really slowed down my progress for the last, like, six or seven episodes. Kind of been stuck here. Of course, having all this meat readily available was kind of nice. I will say it was a definitely a bonus to be able to just eat as much meat as I want. I see a wolf here wandering. Oh, shoot. He, I've, I've been pinged. Got a wolfie on me here. Um, yeah, he's in a... He's one of those type of wolves, too. So, I'm just gonna keep my eye on him for a minute here. As I work my way back. I thought, uh, he was one of those two over there, but apparently he isn't. There's a... Another one. Okay, we're gonna be alright. Just gonna... Slowly work my way out. There was another wolf over here as well. In this little area. Oh, he's right. He's right in the area that I planned on walking up at. So, I think what I'll do is I'll hang here. Inside this, uh, protected area here. This, uh, fishing hut for a second. Probably just grab a couple pieces of meat. Relax. Just chill. I might... If I, let's see if I can do this. Let's see if I can bait him like this. There we go. I'll just drop that bear meat there. See if he goes for it. He's going for it. Might be able to just shoot him. Creepy wolf. We'll just that's that's one way of dealing with him. We'll get the arrow back here in a minute. Drop this. Okay. Well, we took care of the wolves. I don't even know if it cost us any bear meat, but let's head on up. I guess that's what happens when you camp the camp the spawn point. You get dead. Look at all those red red bars. I'm tired. I'm hungry. I'm cold. I'm almost thirsty now. <laughs> yeah, we're not going to drink any tea for that, but uh, let's put that away. Stomach. It hurts. All right, there we go. Good oh, use of uh, good use of uh, archery skill right there. Level that up a little bit. All right, um, let's grab some of this. I saw fresh. I couldn't tell. If, I didn't remember if it said cooked or not. But uh, we'll check here in a second. So let's uh, let's eat first before we do anything else. That is cooked. All right, just gotta double check, make sure everything's cooked. There we go. That's I need cooked. To find something to drink. That's hardly any calories. It's gonna take forever for me to get filled up from eating like that. Yeah. There we go. Okay, we should be good now for the rest of the for the ten hours sleep that I need. Get some water in our system here. Drop our <laughs> all these uh. uh saplings that we have. I think I'm just going to drop them. I don't know. I'll probably drop them. Oh, there's a lot of reclaimed wood there. I'm running out of space. I guess I'll put it over here. Got two of these. There we go. Alright. I do have a mushroom, but not enough to make any mushroom tea out of it. A new, a new batch of mushroom tea. So, Okay. So right now we're just tired at this point. Um, we have 900... 54 calories on board, which is fine. Let's go ahead and get some rest for 10 hours, and we should be in pretty good shape when we wake up when it comes to our overall health. I don't think we're going to be completely filled up, but should be most of the way filled up with our health. Here we go. All right. Not bad. Not bad at all. All right. Well, we went, got some more coal, which is what I was looking for. 51 days, so 6 hours, 48 minutes. All right. So we have six coal in here already, and I think I picked up six, yeah, six more. All right, so now we're back up to 12 coal. I feel better about the coal situation. And uh, potatoes, I want to leave those outside. I shouldn't, I shouldn't have brought them inside the building to begin with, but I forgot I had them in my inventory, so. Negative 12. Oh my gosh. It's a, <laughs> let's go frolic, folks. That is awesome. I'm going to drop all these here. 
And we got potatoes. All right, let's go up here and search around for some... Let's go over here and search around for some uh, mushrooms a little bit. Need to eat soon. See what else we can find. Pretty sure if I go to Ravine, I'll be able to find some too. I, may, I might have grabbed all the ones from Ravine on my way through, though, knowing that I need it. But I'm just going to go some... I'm going to go up and over this way a little bit. Search this area back here. There's probably going to be some dead... Dead uh, stumps with uh, mushrooms growing off of them. Somewhere up here. So maybe I'll go up here and take a peek down from up here. Seems like a logical choice. Still carrying around liters of water. <laughs> okay. Then we'll get up here and this will be a little spot where we might find some areas where mushrooms might, might grow. Of course, when I don't need them, you know, that I never... I, I, I'm tripping over them everywhere, but uh, when I do need them, I'm, it's going to be difficult to find. I see a rabbit popping around down there. So that's good to know. Always kind of wolf past him if I need to. Okay. Um, let's see any fallen trees at the moment. There's my rabbit. I'll leave him be for now. I might need him later. Kind of remember where he's at. this way. Should be getting kind of close to the, uh, the switchback road that leads up to that trailer. Feel my feet. Next to the uh, railroad tracks that goes to uh, Ravine there. It should be like right over there, the, the trailer. But uh, let's see what we can see. That wolf howling is like way over there somewhere. Pretty far in the distance. There's this. There's the road. All right. Well, let's head up this way. Just a little bit. I might have, I'm probably gonna drop off here. So there's typically not much. Of Wait. I'm so just looking for high ground so I can see. Up again. See down into areas. Clear cut would probably be a good spot. I have to go all the way back to Mystery Lake for that. Which I guess we could do. Push comes to shove, we could definitely do that. I really don't see anything. Hmm. Well, let's head down. Try to do it carefully. Yeah, it feels like the wind's getting worse. Might be a, another blizzard coming our way. It's our temperature right now. It's not really fair because I wasn't I was protected. A lot of a lot of deadfall around this this area. We can head hole up here at the uh, there's the trailer that's up here, so we can head up here and hang out for a bit. Need something to eat. I think we'll head on over to this uh, cabin. It's right around the corner here. Not used to coming at it from this direction. I'm trying to remember exactly where it's at. I think it's right up here. I think if we stay over here, we'll be okay. Another rabbit hopping down here. That's a good sign. 
at the picnic area. I'm not sure if there are... I want to say that there's some... Chop... Yeah, I see some... Yeah, I see some stumps down here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hop up here to this cabin right here. Warm up for a bit. Then we'll head on over to the picnic area. And we'll see what we see. Okay. So let's just dip inside of here real quick. There we go. Okay. And uh, yeah, we'll get some rest. Double check everything here. Make sure I didn't miss anything coming through last time. I can't remember if it was daytime or nighttime or whatever, but uh, definitely want to. Yep, yeah, okay. Looks good. Alright. Let's grab some sleep here. Let's do uh, let's do an hour. See where we're at. An hour. So we got we got more coal. Did some beach combing. We're nice and warm now. The storm's not or whatever the whatever's happening outside isn't oh, rattling the roof. Oh, a negative nine. It's actually oh, it warmed hurts. up a little bit. I'm, I feel quite fortunate about that. No, 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 no. Stop that. I'm just collecting sticks. Don't get all weird about it. Start trying to light your flare. Why are you okay? Dead animal. Not the. Uh, I see some uh, cattail stalks. We'll definitely get these over here. I can't remember where I'm at with tinder, but I know I picked up some tinder off of the uh, beach coming. So I remember thinking, I don't know how good that tinder's going to be for the foreseeable future. So I'm going to grab some of that real quick here. I saw the rabbit hopping around down here, but still going to be very cautious, nonetheless. Oh, he's right there. It's because of that. It's because of that, uh... Yeah, I've, I already got tinder from here. So. Grab a crow feather, or three, or four. Cool. Alright. Alright, let's start looking. Here are these stumps. There's probably... Oh, I see one. I see one. So that's another dose if you combine it with what I already got. I don't think I've searched this yet. No, I haven't. Of course. Probably why. A couple. Oh, yeah, we got some more over here. So we got like uh, a few. Yeah, we got a few more. That's good. Good find. So now we have five of these. Make that six. I see more over here. So there's, and there's one behind me as well. So there might be some over here too. This is kind of a hot spot for it. This might help me make everything I need. I don't know exactly. I think I need two for each cup of coffee. Or tea. So I don't know how close we'll be with this, but well, we should be pretty close. I'm liking our odds much better now. Alright, so I think what I'll do is I'll probably just walk straight back. This pack is getting kind of heavy. Yeah, I think I'm just going to walk straight back. Uh, while the weather, while the while the getting's good with the weather, yeah. Go back a straight back this way, and maybe I'll run into another group of uh, stumps. Again, I'm not used to walking this particular route, so that's why I'm hoping I'll find some stumps I never, not necessarily knew about, but never realized existed. Oh yeah, I forgot about this cabin over here. It's like a old busted up cabin. Can't do anything with it. It's just it is what it is. So this is where we came down and there's where my rabbit was. My decoy rabbit. But uh... Alright. Well that was definitely definitely productive. I'm going to run up here to this little cabin see if there's anything laying around it that might be useful. And sometimes I don't know. You never, never know if an update's going to like throw a basement <laughs> underneath it suddenly. <laughs> something crazy like that. Maybe they have something outside of it like a container they've added. Check. Because this is one that I just don't check ever. So I'm going to grab these uh, rose hip things. Um, because uh, vitamin C and scurvy are a thing. And uh, one way to get some vitamin C in your system is to uh, use the rose hips. Thank you for... I can't remember who it was that reminded me about that, but somebody did. 
Okay, I don't see anything here worthwhile. Can't feel my hands. All right, let's head on back then. Starting to, starting to whine more than I like, so head, head on down here. Get back into uh, into our little happy home village. I can see our house. Yep, right there. All right, so let's prepare this up into some tea, and let's see if we can get some tea brewed up um, and ready to go for for medicine dosage. Yeah, we're getting there. We're getting there, folks. We're having a good time. Having a good time. Yep. We're having a good time. I like to tell people that. So, we all know. All right, having a good time. What comedian th does that one, huh? Which comedian is it? Having a good time. Everything is going to be all right. Having a good time. I want to eat a couple more of these just for... So... Just for the heck of it. I don't know if I'm gonna do my. I don't think I'm gonna do my jacket here because it's gonna take like 30 hours outside. Um, I think what I'll do is I'll. Uh, if so, this was a great place to level up though with the, uh, the cooking and everything. But I think what I'll do is I'll probably do my my uh, bearskin coat back at the uh, other. Um, at the Mystery Lake camp office because I have that. I have that really nice or not the. Not the bear coat. I'm talking about the uh, the bear roll. Um, I have a really nice cave real close um, that I can get to if I need to. But I need to be able to sleep up there. Um, I'm thinking about cabin fever, right? So I want to be able to prepare that, have that ready to go, and then kind of go from there. Um, there's nowhere around here really that's great for holding up for cabin fever, except for maybe if you get a fire going and you use one of the uh, fishing huts. I probably be okay yeah there's not like any real good caves that have the have the temperature change so all right let's take a look here um i'm gonna go ahead and eat these might as well feeling we're getting to the point we're getting kind of close to the point where about ready to head out of here but um i can drop my cooking supplies in here these these shouldn't go yeah they're not going bad um apparently i already had oil salt yeah the salt's not ever gonna go bad it shouldn't and we got eight rushy mushrooms so yeah if it's two per that would be giving that would give me four doses of that and i think i have oh man it's gonna be close i think i'm i think i'm really close i had one dose of the of the pills left and then one, two, three, four, five. Oh, yeah, I'm going to have plenty. Yeah, No, no, that'll be perfect. Four plus the pills, which makes five, and then five more here, and I need I need ten. So we should be good. Um, let me go ahead and create this. should be able to just do it right here. Um, Freshy mushrooms? Yeah, let's just craft them all up there. Four of those prepared. Take an hour. Enjoy ourselves here. I'll probably go out and cook some up right now, out on the uh, out in the fishing hut. Let me see how the sun's looking before it gets too dark. Might, might wait till tomorrow. I don't know. Oh yeah, we can get a we can get a fire going. I got tinder. I got plenty of sticks. Um, yeah. All right, and I got some. I think I got a couple pieces of wood too, like a fire log, and or maybe it was the uh, cedar. It was a cedar wood, wasn't it? Got plenty of water. All right, we can peel these wolf hides and get these things. Uh, once I get done cooking here, we'll peel these wolf hides and get these uh, curing as well. And there should be lots of feathers around this thing too. So by this point in time, what's our temperature at negative 13? Not bad. Not bad. I used to freak out a lot when it was like negative 13 degrees. I'd be like, oh my gosh, hurry, move, move quick. These are brutal. And eat this. What? Oh, no, wait, Food poisoning. Was it like at zero percent or something? I just want to die. <laughs> what I? Oh no. Uh, this or this, and then recovered. So I got to use up one of my doses. <laughs> that's okay. We'll find another mushroom somewhere. It's not a big deal. But that's kind of funny. All right. I. I thought these were safe. Oh, they're twenty-one percent. They're not the best. Are these raw? Did I, I ate a raw one, that's why. 
Oh, I thought these were all cooked. Okay, that was my fault. Oh well. Well, <laughs> I got so excited and now I'm not so excited, but it's all right. I really accurized myself on that one. Uh, let's just let my let, let's just use the last of the ammo. I wonder. Oh yeah, I have to select a specific ailment. I was gonna say, I wonder if I take these in the morning, I can get, like double dip and get credit for food poisoning plus, you know, the uh, uh, the in intestinal parasite. His own pee my doesn't seem my so poor guy. Right now. I'm just brutalizing him <sighs> so badly. All right, so there we go. Uh, ten hours, so it'll be gone in ten hours. Not a, not a big deal. <laughs> but uh, this poor guy. All right, can I start a fire from inside here with the magnifying lens? No, I gotta do it outside first and then move it to the inside. Okay, I got you. I got you. Let's just do a stick. Which way is the wind blowing? Okay. Am I protected here? I feel like I'm protected here. Okay. Let's do it here. Okay. Magnifying lens and a cattail and a stick. There we go. Fire trains. Six. Wait, what? Why? Is the sun too low? Oh. Fiddlesticks. Okay. Okay, let me rot slowly rotate through all my items here. My fingers feel numb. <laughs> Alright, let's fire this up and get this going. Need to brew up some reshi teas here. Okay, okay. Let's start the fire. Let's, who cares? Doesn't matter. Just use the torch. 62. All right, that works. Yeah, it should actually warm us up enough because it's not crazy cold outside. We could probably hang out here for a minute. That did it. So I don't think I don't think fishing's really that effective anymore. You just beachcomb, man. It's yeah. Hmm. Okay. So can I just go ahead and, uh, okay, I guess I'm just going to take the, I'm going to let this finish cooking since it was already in the process and, uh, God damn melted freezing. and all that stuff. I know it's, it's, it's just cold, cold, unsafe water is all that is, but, uh, yeah, and it's still negative seven degrees. Let's see. If I add a fuel. What can I, let's add a, this in here. I know this isn't very hot at all. Hmm. Add a stick or two. I got a lot of sticks. 11, 12. It's, it's slowly creeping up. Is that where it's going to stop at? 12? It's one degree per. We're right at the... Hold on. Just need one more stick. One more stick. Oh, I added a reclaimed wood. Didn't mean to do that, but... Whatever. I guess we're going to cook up some water here. Once we get done. Not sure why I feel so tired. There we go. All right, have some water. Make sure it's just safe and it isn't raw, like the meat I just ate. Yeah, I thought I'd cooked all this, but apparently, I, yeah, I haven't. Uh, yeah, this is all the safe stuff. This is all the cooked, to be cooked stuff. And I, when I brought that wolf over, I grabbed this and threw it over there. I didn't even think about that. I thought so cold in my life. I was thinking I dropped a piece of actual cooked meat, so. Uh, oh well, it is what it is. Can I? Yeah, the wind's pretty significant there. I could probably start another one over there, but I, I'm not too pressed about it. We don't have. We're not in a big hurry. It's done. Okay, so we got that. Let's go ahead and cook up some uh, prepared mushrooms into rushy tea. Let's do that. In Ten minutes until ready. Okay. Check our. Yeah, we're still good there with our water situation. Past time. It's dusk. So night can't be far Let's just keep doing that. How are we doing down here? Something's oh. making me feel really tired. That would probably be, uh, you know, all the sicknesses I'm putting you through. And I think we got one more to go, right? Okay. I don't think we can do another one. Yeah, I can't. don't have much more in I do birch bark tea. Might as well do that. It's always good to have on hand. And we should be okay. And maybe some coffee. As you know, never. Oh, I'm just heating it up. Okay. 
I don't really need to drink any coffee. I thought I was preparing coffee, but I guess to prepare coffee, I'd use my tin of coffee, right? There we go. Okay, let's just do regular water then. Oh, I accidentally took the water out early. There we go. Drink that. A little bit up here. There we go. Things are starting to look pretty grim. Oh, you're gonna be okay, don't you worry. Yeah, it's the fatigue is uh, lowering me a little bit there. Okay, back up to five. Um, yeah, we'll just keep going through, through this. I'll drink some, uh, I'll drink a tea tonight. Just to increase the uh, speed at which I heal up here. Another Aurora Knight. Hmm. Should be down to 35 minutes. Okay, I'm just gonna leave the next one on. And then I when I come out, it should be it should be potable. I don't think it'll disappear. I'm not gonna mess around with these because I'm so tired and my health's slow. I'll come get these guys in the morning. I'll get their hides in the morning. That's all I really care about. I got too many guts as it is. And uh, yeah, so. Don't need the meat off of them at this point. Guess I could always just harvest them up just for the skills. I guess if it's a really nice day, I'll probably do that. But as of right now, nah. We'll just go home, drink some birch bark tea. Not gonna pull through this time. Oh yes, you are. He's now he's being overly dramatic. Listen to him. He's starting to sway around a little bit, actually. Starting to get, get that drunk effect going on. All right. So, and my heartbeat in my head. So we don't want the reshi tea. Let's not drink that by accident. Let's make sure we drop, drink the right one. Uh, there it is, birch bark tea. Drink that. There we go. Very nice and uh, yeah, calorie wise we should be good. Top off with what little water we have to drink to complete the hydration process. All right, should be good. All right, see you guys in the morning. Should be rid of the uh, food poisoning also. I think that, you know, that'll be gone. And then we should be able to, I have 52 days and change and I'm thirsty and didn't really recover a whole lot because I was sick. I was pretty sick from the food poisoning. So we'll take it easy today. I could eat anything right now. All right. Yeah, no, we're not eating anything. My stomach uh, feels like an empty pit. That's how I got us in this mess to begin with. Yeah, but I will go ahead and try to stay full today as much as I can, just because uh, I don't want to. I want to kind of like be progressing upwards rather than backwards with our health. So I think we'll just do that. Make sure that this stuff isn't. Uh, yeah, that's all raw. We're not going to eat that. <laughs> all right, let's go back inside here. It looks like it's a lot colder today than it was yesterday. There we go. All right, all right, all right. So got all these teas. Drop these down here. Oh, you know what? I need to drink one of these actually, because I took the pills for my food poisoning, but I haven't taken my morning dose of reshi tea. So we are at ten, and uh, let's have one of these for the inf yep stomach parasites. That'd be the correct thing. There we go. Now we're down to nine. Okay, good. Now I'm one shy because of my food poisoning from yesterday. So, but it is what it is. We'll, we'll make do. But uh, everything else looks pretty good. I think I'll run out here. Let me let me just rest here for a minute. Sixty minutes to be exact. Run out there and wind died. That was good. Oh, that started to sound like right at the end of the sleep, it started to pick back up again. But it doesn't look too bad. It is cold, though. 30. Negative 30. 
So, we'll see how long. I don't want to be out here too long and have my health get knocked down too quick. So, see how long it takes us to peel a skin here. Uh, just to hide. 48 minutes. 32 minutes. Let's give it a try. Let's see where we're at. I'm watching the health bar right now. Just seeing how much of a hit we took. Okay. Let's get that back inside. Oh, I might... a shitty way to die. <laughs> I might just wait until um, I feel better. My health is a lot higher before I try the next one. So I'm just going to, like I said, I'm just going to take it real easy here. Should have grabbed a few pieces of meat from back there too. But let's get this one curing. I'm going to have a lot of hides to take back. I have this hide, that hide, um, a bunch of birch saplings for arrows. Heavy hammer. Let's, let's put a heavy hammer somewhere. Obvious. There we go, in case I need to take it somewhere at some point. Placement fuses. Try to organize this a little bit. Hot mess over here. Okay, so we got the cured wolf pelt. Awesome. Um, how heavy is that? Some five kilograms. How much room do I have in here? Not much. Okay, we'll leave it there. I'm going to pick all these up anyway when I head back. So it should be under crafting materials. Let's just drop that one there. Wonderful. I could probably do some repairs on my boots, honestly, and uh, the rest of my clothes while we're kind of hanging and waiting. So, yeah, let's... Well, I'm going to warm up. Let's do that. Let's do a little repair here. These items. I know we're running a little little long here in this episode, but it's okay. Boots are actually pretty good. I probably don't want to waste a leather on those just to repair them 20, 19%. So I think we'll pass on that for now. Let's start working on the other, other items that we have here. Get everything back up into good condition. 97% with the jeans. That's pretty good. I'll take that. Some more wool socks to repair. Alright, now we're warm. So let's... Yeah, let's just keep repairing. I'm not going to go for that wolf hide right now. Uh, I don't think I have... I need a gut and a rabbit pot. I do have that. Oh, wait. What condition are those in? 81. Those are in great condition. Hold on. Let me organize. Oh. Is this our stuff? Oh, it's in really good shape now. Okay, so 81% is the lowest. All right. No, I'm good then. don't really need to do much else. I will tear these up, though, for the, uh, for the two leather that I get out of them. All right. Good deal. So, basically, what I need is a really good night's rest. Um, do I have any more birch bark tea? Yeah, I got like three more. I'm going to drink another one of those tonight before we go to bed. Get a nice long rest in. Uh, maximize the effects of that. Horse. Oh, wait a minute. I got six antibiotics here. Oh, I have... Oh, I got plenty of tea. Never mind. I miscounted. I, fr I thought... I didn't realize I had the six antibiotics up here. So that's three doses. Okay. Now we're fine. We have more than enough antibiotics to get through the rest of the sickness so we're in good shape yeah yeah I just recover uh, my health here fully and then just baby myself um while since we have everything we need I think we'll just grab some items from here that we want like our our hides um yeah the leather maybe a few guts I think we have pretty a lot, all these saplings um Maple saplings aren't hard to come across. How's my bow doing? Um, look here. It's at 55%. Probably take a maple sapling, so I'm ready to go to make another bow when the time comes. Um, let me double check and see. What's required for that? Is it one or two? Just one maple sapling, so two. That, yeah, that's not... It takes 10 hours, though. So... But we'll be able to do that. I'm pretty sure I have maple saplings back at... Uh, and I'll take the quality tools uh, back at the camp office. So... Alright, looks good. Alright, let me step out, step back in, save it, and uh, we'll end this episode here. Pretty pretty productive episode, honestly. Despite my best <laughs> attempts at trying to uh, food poison myself. So... Alright, and we'll get that last wolf fight over there. Because then uh, we should... Be getting pretty close to having enough wolf hides to uh once we get them cured to make the the wolf hide coat 
So we might go with a bear bed roll and then a wolf hide coat, which is lighter than the bear bear coat. Uh, not as tough, but it does. Uh, they both scare away the animals. Um, have have a higher tendency to scare away predators, and they're pretty darn warm and weatherproof. So that's where we're at now. Okay, guys. So like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next episode. Thank you so much for watching. Y'all take care.